head back there with two away now. Digging in to try it again. Paul Goldschmidt. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Late that time for a strike. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. And, you know, there's just so few uh, places in the strike four. zone where you can well, keep this guy from hitting the ball hard. That really is not that bad of a pitch. Just a little bit down and away, but he's all over it, and he cashes in the run on the double. Standing in now, Ralph Kiner, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Squared that one up just a little late. Matt, he's thrown two pitches right down the middle and got away with them. I don't think he should go back there again. But he's got to locate a little bit better if he wants to put him away. This guy's too good a hitter. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen. Dodgers get one in the inning on the RBI double. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Braves six and the Dodgers four. Number 54. New pitcher set to take over now. It's the right-hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. Leading off for the Braves. Second baseman. Holland. Oh. Hit in the air out to center field. Peterson has a read on it. One away. The pitcher, number 26. Mice. And we're going to have a pinch hitter come on here as the youngster Matt Kemp has grabbed the bat and moved into the on deck circle. Matt Kemp. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Six runs, eight hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. Well, that's a high pitch he's swinging at right there. Even if he makes contact on that mat, I think it's a pop-up. He's probably not going to drive that ball. That ball's so high out of the zone. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he one chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Now the pitch. Just got a peat. That winds up foul. He'll try again, one, two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson has a read on it, and that's the second out of the inning. Center fielder, number 11. Here's Ender Inciarte. He Ender. scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Braves are set down one, two, three. They still lead it six to four. Justin Verlander has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eighth. Justin Verlander. Here's Jock Peterson now. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Jock Peterson. 
hit hard on the ground is short. Correa is there. Throw won't get him. And now hold on a minute now. It looks like we may point. see that last call challenged Justin here. The call Turner. on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. So we'll see what the decision is from the dugout, whether they want to challenge or not. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Braves have elected to challenge. Okay, we're going to give one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? You know, I think there is. The shot right there it makes it look like the ball beat him to first. Looks like a well used challenge. OK so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision and off comes the headset and he's out. So the original call Upon is overturned and instead of having a base runner at first the bases will now be empty. And the batter out. Stepping in and ready for another shot Justin Turner. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead 0 and 1. Well, both starters are out of the game, but you know, it's so different today. Now you almost want to get to the bullpen before you extend that starter. At least that's how it seems most managers play it these days. Really busting him in on this at bat right there. First two pitches inside for strikes, and I don't see him changing his pattern. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the, the put out at first, and there are Second two away now. Brian. Dozier. Here's Brian Dozier now. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stubbs moves over and that retires the side. Dodgers down in order. Score remains steady at six to four. Steve Cishek. It's on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 33, Steve Cisha. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. The Leading off for the Braves. Right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Hit on the ground to third. Turner has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. The batter number one. Striding into the box, Carlos, Carlos Correa. Correa. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up, and no one will get this one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Line drive to left. Trainer is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Baseman, number 33. Digging Eddie in the switch hitter, Murray. Eddie Murray. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. There is Dozier. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Braves retired on just four pitches. They're up six to four. Now at the plate, Wilson Ramos. He'll Leading off with the Dodgers, the catcher number Craig Kimbrell comes on Wilson, from the pen, hoping to Ramos. finish this one off Very here in the top of the ninth. Now pitching for the Braves, number 46. Craig Kimbrell. Ninth big. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0 2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The batter, number three, 
Stepping into the box, Gene Segura. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, but he really spotted that pitch. Go on to first, and now the Dodgers are down to their final out. Josh Harrison will get to call the pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. In there at the knees, strike one. Grounded foul. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Just more of the same from Craig Kimball. He comes out of the bullpen and fires a scoreless ninth inning to pick up the save. Business as usual from one of the best in the game. leave time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two run victory. Well heroes are made in the postseason and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. Six to four the outcome today Atlanta have won their first in three tries in this division series. So the that'll just about do it for us this, this afternoon. afternoon. Thanks to Harold the Reynolds Dan and Pleasak and the rest of our Six crew. Run. This is Matt Vaskersian and you've been watching a presentation of MLB base. Network. See you next time. For the Dodgers four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left five men on base. The winning pitcher is Mike fulton -Evich. Credit the save to Craig Kimbrell. The loss goes to Chris Sale. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of SunTrust Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you. <laughs>